very welcome once again my name is Tasneem and you are watching my youtube video and my thought probably you might be remember that all my videos that i have made so far is actually and closely related to health and disease and disease processes and in today's talk i have came with a similar video in which we are going to talk about the ascites what does it mean what is ascites but before we talk further before we go further i have to say something very important to you see if there is disease any disease we should pay more attention on two things the first thing thing is uh, what is the reason of its occurrence and uh, secondly uh, how we can cure this disease so in any disease condition first of all we have to investigate the cause etiology etiopathogenicity what is the reason behind this disease what is the reason of behind this disease condition and then we will go for the proper treatment by medication so in any disease there are two basic principles first of all investigate the cause the etiology and then uh, go for the proper medication what medicine should be used in such critical condition so this is the basic principle of uh, uh, treatment in clinical practice so let's get back uh, gets back on the topic uh, get uh, back on the main point i have a, a site sample here and uh, i have taken it from the abdominal cavity and uh, what is ascites ascites is a overproduction of uh, peritoneal fluid peritoneal fluid presents in our peritoneal cavity but in a small amount but when it starts increasing it takes the form of ascites it is retention of fluid it is fluid overload so we don't want excess amount of uh, peritoneal fluid in the our abdominal field we don't want it in high amount we want it in a small amount appropriate amount so when it start increasing it takes a form of a disease condition called ascites so this is the sample of ascites uh, i have taken and you can see what do we see we see the this sample is very hazy this is very dirty and uh, this is showing cellular deliveries inside Uh, within it so ascites could be two form uh, two types uh, uh, clear exude uh, transudate and uh, hazy dirty exudate so this is the sample this is the uh, exudate it has where it has lots of uh, cellular debris it has lot of inflammatory cells within uh, <clears throat> i had uh, examined this sample and uh, i see uh it has uh, lots of neutrophil and uh, macrophages and low amount of protein and low amount of albumin and uh, sugar uh, was normal there is no mycobacterium inside it i have uh, i had seen uh rb staining and uh, so this sample highly suggestive of uh, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis it is pyogenic infection let's think about the cause the etiology what can cause ascites there are lots of reason that can be that uh, uh, that can be give rise to ascites uh, liver disease and kidney disease uh, any gastrointestinal disease and uh, hypertension so lots of reason but uh, liver cirrhosis is the most recognized cause uh, for the making of ascites liver cirrhosis in which uh, uh, in which portal hypertension generate and uh, the affair between hydrostatic pressure and osmotic pressure of the 
venous end of capillary is going to be disturbed. At the venous end of capillary, the hydrostatic pressure is greater than osmotic pressure, um, which is generated by the proteins. So low amount of protein in the blood and high hydrostatic pressure of the blood will give rise to, definitely will give rise to uh, lots of ascites, fluid retention. So first uh, we have to investigate the reason and uh, if the disease is related with liver, we will treat the liver. If uh, this condition is related to uh, kidney, we will treat the kidney. So we have to treat the underlying cause what is responsible responsible for this formation of the cycles. We treat that particular cause.